Today we're going to talk about how to transfer a VHS video to a MacBook using a mini DV camcorder. Now there are third-party services that will digitize your video footage, but there are also reasons why you may want to do it yourself. First, the tapes are fragile and will degrade over time, and the less handling of it, the better. You may also have a lot of the existing equipment already to do this. So if you have a, a VCR and a camcorder that you've used over the last 10, 20, 30 years, then you may already have the equipment necessary. The video transfer services can also be pricey, and when you do it yourself, the tapes never leave your possession. So this is how you're going to set up your equipment for this transfer. So note that the signal flow will go from left to right. So your VCR will be hooked up to your mini DV camcorder. And then that mini DV camcorder will be hooked up to the laptop, in this case, a MacBook Pro. Note that the signal from the VCR to the camcorder is an analog signal. The camcorder will then perform an analog to digital conversion, and will, it will output a digital signal that will be captured in the MacBook Pro. Let's take a look at the inputs and outputs for each of the devices. From the VCR, we'll use the component out, which consists of three RCA plugs, one for the video and two for the audio. The mini DV camcorder will take that input through a 3.5 millimeter jack, and it will output the signal through a FireWire four pin port. That will be converted to FireWire nine pin, that's just a single cable, and then that will be converted into a Thunderbolt input for the MacBook Pro. Here you can see the setup that we're going to use. We have a Sony VCR hooked up to a Canon HV10 camcorder, and that's hooked up to a MacBook Pro from 2013 that's running macOS Mojave. Pretty much any VCR will do. This late 1990s Sony VCR can be purchased for around $50 on eBay. As mentioned earlier, we're going to use the VCR component outputs. So this is three RCA plugs, one for video, one for left audio, and one for right audio. This is the Canon Mini DV camcorder. You can see the component out signal from the VCR here coming into this cable, which will convert the three signals into a single plug. This is the front of the camcorder. We're going to take the signal from the VCR and send it into the yellow port at the top, and then the output through FireWire will be coming out through the bottom port, and that will go to the laptop. You can see that the top port is labeled AV in out, and the bottom port is labeled HDV slash DV. In order to convert this signal from the VCR, we're going to use a converter cable similar to the one shown here. The output from the camcorder will go through this cable. On one end, you have the FireWire 4 pin, and on the other side, you have the FireWire 9 pin. This FireWire cable is similar to the one shown here. Once you have your cables plugged into the mini DV camcorder, it should look like this. You have the VCR signal coming into the top port, and then you have the FireWire signal coming out from the bottom port. The final converter cable that you'll need will be something similar to this, where you have the FireWire 9 pin coming in at the top, and then the output to a Thunderbolt plug on the bottom. Now, if you have a more recent MacBook Pro, which takes USB-C, then the bottom one needs to be a USB-C uh, plug instead of a Thunderbolt one. And again, here's an example of that adapter in case you need to buy one. Here you can see the FireWire 9 pin is plugged into one end of the adapter, and then the other end is plugged into the Thunderbolt port on the MacBook Pro. So at this point, you have all the physical connections hooked up. Now let's turn our attention to the camcorder. We're going to turn it on to the play position. What we want to do is to get into the menus and where it says AV to DV, we want to make sure that that's turned on. That's the key to getting the signal in from the VCR. We're going to push the menu button and then we're going to use the wheel below it to navigate through the menus.
Now that we've set up the camcorder, we're going to go to the MacBook and we're going to launch iMovie. Within iMovie, we're going to go to the media library and then we're going to click the button to import media. This brings up the media capture window and we're going to click import at the bottom right. At this point, the Mac is in its recording state and we'll go ahead and start sending the video signal from the VCR. Okay, so we're now ready to send the signal over to the MacBook. We start up the VCR, it's playing its tape, and it's sending the signal to the camcorder. You can see it playing there in the camcorder. If we look over at the Mac, we can see the same image coming through. If you see the word recording at the top, you know that the signal is being sent over to the MacBook from the VCR. We'll go ahead and record a little bit of this. We'll then click Stop Import, because we're done with this section and we'll be able to see, close this media capture window and then we'll see there's a new entry in the media library. We'll go ahead and click select it and click play and we'll see that it, once we skip through some of the initial part that it has the video that was sent from the VCR. So there you have it. I hope this helped you capture your memories onto your computer uh, give a thumbs up if this was of help, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, please comment below. Thank you very much.